Dear student, warm welcome to NPTEL phase 2 program video course on geosynthetics engineering in theory and practice. My name is Professor J. N. Mandal, Department of Civil Engineering, Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, Mumbai, India. The name of the course Geosynthetics Engineering in Theory and Practice. This module number 2, lecture number 6, an overview of geosynthetics. So far, we talk about the metallic reinforcement. I said that how the reinforced earth system moved on to geosynthetic engineering system. We will focus on the different types of the geosynthetic material and their various applications. The outline of this course is introduction, then category of geosynthetic material, geosynthetic scope and definition, raw material and machineries, composition of geosynthetic, type of geosynthetic and function, geosynthetic functional application, multiply function of geosynthetic, design of geosynthetic and sustainability using geosynthetic material. So, the in introduction, you know in the first four decades, extensive research has been carried out on geosynthetic around the world. It is required to attain good design, good research and at the same time good material and good construction technique to overcome the educational and technical challenges. The dynamic and rapid growth of geosynthetic is exciting, emerging and vibrant in the field of civil engineering. Today, more than 20 billion square meter of geosynthetic have exclusively been used in the several million project as per 02012. The jute geotextile was successfully used on Strand Road in Calcutta in 1934 by Bengal PWD and subsequently in Myanmar during Second World War. The jute geotextile had also been used for erosion control in 1980. The revolutionary development of geosynthetics has been started in the early 1970s in the field of construction industry. Geosynthetics provide proper solution to design and construction problems in spite of climatic, geographic or technological differences. As I said, the uniqueness of geosynthetics is that they ensure multifunctional performance and very simple to use and provide great economical potential advantage. So, we see that how geosynthetic can be used in different area and so many years how it has been used and how it has been potential application in various project. To understand this geosynthetic material, we should study 
that geosynthetics classification. This after Rain Clark 1981. So, this geosynthetics that is textile material, it may be synthetic or it may be natural. Synthetics mean it may be polymer or natural it may be jute, cotton, reed, grass. So, it may be that permeable material or it may be the impermeable material. If it is a impermeable material, then geomembrane will be the impermeable material. Again, on the webbing, this has a synthetic and the natural and also you can say steel polymer or natural like the plump, leaf, wood, bamboo or steel polymer have a closed mesh and open mesh and also the strip. If it is a closed mesh, this is all combination of the product either it is a impermeable material or it is a permeable material or it is a webbing material and open mesh that is called geogrid and strip what we talk about that is reinforced earth. So, we talk about this geotextile which is permeable material and that also have three category. One is the non oven category another is the knitted, another is the oven category. So, non oven has also needle punch thick, it may be unmodified or the reinforced and if it is a needed generally most of the time not so much used in the civil engineering and the oven geotextile material it may be monofilament slit film or multifilament. Again multifilament has the stabilized and non stabilized that is calendar it. And the monofilament may be the stabilized calendar or the non stabilized. So, all this combination product also it may be needle, punch it thin it may be spun bonded, it may be melded or it may be the melded reinforcement. So, this is coin as uh, uh, rain color 1981 as classified these geosynthetics like this. Now, what are the scope and the definition of the geosynthetics? These are generally question come to our mind that what are geosynthetics, why we want to use them, what we want to use them, how we can use them, who manufactures this geosynthetics material. So, definition of geosynthetics is geosynthetics is a product made of polymeric natural material used with the soil and rock or any other related geotechnical engineering material for the construction of civil engineering structure or system. Why would we want to use them? This sustainable development and environmental protection can go hand in hand. It reduces maintaining cost and increases life. It is said substantial cost of our alternative solution. The quality can be controlled at manufacturer in a factory because you can manufacture as you like it because it is made in a machinery. So, manufacturer can produce the geosynthetics material as per desire by the designer. It is also widely available and it has generic specification and also it is 
easy to install. It gives also optimum technical properties of geosynthetics. It has extreme stress strain behavior. It is a good flexible material, it is an excellent filtration characteristic, it has a very high water permeability, it can provide excellent mechanical protection, it can be welded together, you can teach it, you can weld it, it does not form by product, it is highly resistant to chemical and biological attack and it is chemically ultraviolet stabilized. When can you use them? We can use them when the low bearing capacity of the soil. We can use when the excessive settlement of the soil, there is no other system, how you can use that. If it is a soft soil treatment or reclamation of the land. When the limited space for the construction, you can save the land, you can control and protect the environment and if it is a swelling soil, you can do faster construction, you can save the time, you can save the cost and sustainable environmental safety and you can maintain the quality assurance and the quality control. Now, where can we use this geosynthetics material? You can use in various engineering division. You can use geotechnical engineering problem, transportation engineering problem, geo environmental engineering problem, coastal, hydraulic, water resources engineering problem, mining engineering, agriculture engineering, earthquake engineering and bow engineering. You can see there are many area where we can use this geosynthetics material. How can we use them? How can we design them? So, we can use the geosynthetics based on their major function and specification. This is very important that what will be their major function, what should be their primary function, what should be their secondary function. So, here I am mentioning only six major function that is separation, filtration, separation, filtration, drainage, reinforcement, protection and sealing. So, these are the major that six function when we will design any geosynthetics material in any project. So, we have to know that what are their function. This is very important to understand their functional concept whether it is a separation, whether it is a reinforcement, whether it is a filtration, whether it is a drainage or whether it is a sealing. So, we have to be select what should be their primary function and what should be their secondary function. Now, who produces the geocentrics material? Around the world, there are many manufacturing company that produce comprehensive range of geosynthetics and any other related product used in civil engineering and the construction system. Now, next it looks what will be the category of the geosynthetics material. Geotextile, it may be you know knitted, non-oven and oven. Geogrid, it is a bonded, extruded, knitted oven, geomembrane, it may be bituminous, elastomeric and plastomeric, geonet, geosynthetics, clay liner, geocomposite drain that is PVD, prefabricated vertical drain, geonets or geospacer, 
or geo pipes. So, you can see that different types of the material and different types of the product. So, you have to select that proper kind of the product for a proper application. It may be needle punch, it may be heat bonded. So, you have to be careful that which product will be suitable for a particular project. Now, there are many, many material, you say that geo strips, geo spacer, geo composite, glass grid, geo armor, geo blanket, geo foam, geo mat, geo combs, geo textile container, geo textile bag, geo textile tube, even the natural material geo coil, geo jute, bamboo or geo cell, geo web, gabion, fiber, hybrid geosynthetics, electrokinetic geosynthetics, smart geosynthetics and geo straw. You can see that there are various types of the geosynthetic material, whether it may be the natural material like a jute or the coil which is made from coconut fiber or it may be metallic strip. So, all this material is under the umbrella of geosynthetics. Though geosynthetics is a polymer material, but we have taken into consideration the all the material as a families of geosynthetics. So, for this geosynthetics that raw material what we use for the production of geosynthetic material is different. So, raw material what we use for the production of various types of geosynthetics and that we call polypropylene, polyethylene, polyamide and nylon is called PA or high density polyethylene called HDPE, low density polyethylene it is LDPE, linear low density polyethylene LLDPE, medium density polyethylene MDPE, very low density polyethylene that is VLDPE, chlorinated polyethylene CPE or chloro sulfonated polyethylene CSPE. So, these are some designation has been given for the different material and different, different product. So, we have to keep in mind that what is PP polypropylene, what is P polyethylene, what is PVC polyvinyl chloride, what is PET polyester. So, you have to remember this term in the short, short form. Also, there are some other material like polyester which is designated as PS or polyester or polyethylene tetra phthalatate that is PET, polyvinyl chloride PVC, chlorinated polyethylene CPE, ethylene propylene diene tetrafol maya that is EPDM which you call the rubber. Then expanded polystyrene that is EPS which is called geofoam or thermocol and geojute is GJ, geocoil is GC, bamboo is B, so sisal is S and straw you can define as S of W. So, these are the sum of the designation is given by for the defined kind of the product. So, we will show that how this raw material used for the production of various type of the geosynthetic material. So, we are showing that one side that what is the raw material and what should be the product of the geosynthetic material. 
you can see in this table P P P T P P A G J G C S S W you can say geotextile material. P T P P H D P G C B S this geogrid which I have already explained what is this abbreviation. Then P B C P P H D P L L D P V L D P C P E C S P G J geocentric is geo membrane H D P M D P E G J G C S S W is geo net H D P P P P B C is geo pipe E P S is geo foam. So, there are different raw material and different type of the product it may be geo textile, it may be geo grid, it may be geo membrane it may be geo foam. So, you can see that various type of the material and which is made of various type of the polymer. Now, what is the composition of the geosynthetics? Now, geosynthetics are made of different types of a fiber or yarn. It looks like a cloth or you can see some rope you can see that some geosynthetic material are made of some yarn, it may be the monofilament, it may be sealed film monofilament, it may be multifilament, sealed film multifilament, then the staple fiber, staple yarn and that also has a stable fiber, filament and sealed film. So, you can see that different type of the filament. So, again you have to select what you can suggest for the monofilament, what you will suggest for the cell free monofilament or the multifilament or it is a stable fiber or it is a filament or it is a cell flame. So, that is why it is also needed more knowledge about the textile engineering. So, you can see in this slide that this is monofilament type, this is multifilament type, this is staple yarn or this is slit yarn. So, you can see that how the variation of the different types of the filament. Now, again that open geosynthetics and the knitted geosynthetics can be made of yarn as follow that is monofilament yarns, spun yarn, multifilament yarn, a fabricated yarn and the slit clean yarn. The non-open geosynthetics material can be made of stable fiber or filament. The arrangement of the fiber in random and bonded together with the following system. Because non open geosynthesis material may be mechanical bonding, chemical bonding, heat thermal bonding, resin bonding, spray bonding, span bonding, stitch bonding. So, when you will select that any kind of the geosynthetics material. So, whether it is a open or it is a non-open geosynthetics material. So, we are to be know that what is made of whether it is a open, whether it is a non-open, whether it is a open in case of whether it is a monofilament, span bonded, silk film, etcetera. Similarly, for the non-open geosynthesis material, you should also know what should be the, the type of the material, whether it is a uh, heat bonded, whether it is a mechanically heat bonded. So, this you are to be careful that what is the type of the material it is. So, this material is manufactured. Uh, manufacture of this is a kind of the geogrid 
and this is Strata India courtesy by Mr. N. Dalmia. You can see this is the machinery and this is the roller and you can see how they are manufacturing the geogrid material which is a polyester material. So, it has a particular width it may be 3 meter to 6 meter and also length wise you can say 500 meter, 1000 meter you can have in the different form of roll form. You can see that uniaxial geogrid and also the biaxial geogrid this is tensile international 1996, 1997 and 1999. It is the punch sheet and how you can manufacture this uniaxial geogrid. This geogrid has a tensile strain is the same either in the machine direction or the cross machine direction or this biaxial geogrid this tensile strength is more in the machine direction and it may be relatively less in the cross machine direction. So, what we observe that that there are different type of the manufacturing system in which we can manufacture this oven geotextile material, non oven geotextile material and also that we can manufacture uh, different types of the geogrid. It may be the biaxial geogrid or it may be the uniaxial geogrid material. So, we should know that what are the different types of the geocentric material and what is made of and what how we are manufacturing the geosynthetics with the different manufacturing system. Now, I will show you the different types of geosynthetics product. First, geotextile. It may be non-oven geotextile or oven geotextile. This is non-oven geotextile material and this is oven geotextile material. I can show you that the kind of non-oven geotextile material. This is the non-oven geotextile material and where the filament are very random. So, it has a machine direction as well as cross machine direction. Also, it has a diagonal direction. So, tensile strength of machine and cross machine direction almost equal, even then it should be equal in the diagonal direction. So, this is the non oven geotextile material this is also another also non oven geotextile material whose filament you can see very random. And this is the oven geotextile material, this is a natural material, this is called jute geotextile. You can have also polyethylene, polypropylene oven geotextile material, you can see in case of oven geotextile material, this filament are perpendicular to each other and it has also have a different opening size. So, this I am just introducing you about the geosynthetics product. So, this product particularly use for the filtration, drainage and separation function. You can see that mechanically bonded non oven geotextile material, this is thermally bonded non oven geotextile material. If you skip scan you can see that what is inside, 
in case of non open geotextile material if it is a mechanically bonded you can see that how the filament are bonded here and in case of thermally bonded non open geotextile material you can see that how the filament are bonded now this is you can see open geotextile material this is monofilament and this is multifilament this one is multifilament this one is monofilament so this open geotextile call the monofilament on multifilament monofilament on multifilament you can have also multifilament on multifilament so you can see that open geotextile also have the different types of the filament it may be either monofilament on multifilament or multifilament on multifilament the next i will show you the geogrid so this geogrid material have a open geogrid that means yarn are whip and perpendicular to each other there is a bonded geogrid two or more sets of strand are bonded together perpendicular to each other or knitted geogrid yarn are knitted together perpendicular to each other an extruded geogrid the geogrid polymer is made of sheet form i am showing you some of the geogrid material this geogrid material is biaxial geogrid material you can see here this is the biaxial geogrid material and that means that tensile strain in the machine and cross machine direction is the same or you can have a uniaxial here the uniaxial geogrid that means you can have a tensile strain in the longitudinal direction also in the transverse direction so there are mainly the two types of the geogrid material it may be made of or uh, this what you call the bamboo geogrid you can make a bamboo grid and we have done lot of research work in this related area and also we have used some kind of a uh, para grid like this okay and also that you can sometimes say also the friction tie and if you conduct the test you can see that how the sample fell so these are the type of material is exclusively used for a reinforcement function apart from that oven non oven geotextile and geogrid you have also the glass grid you can see that different types of the glass grid and this is the glass grid it has a tensile strain may be 50 kN per meter or 100 kN per meter and this material is a very high strain and it can be used for the reflection cracking in the air field pavement also there are other type of this material this also like a like a some filament on this direction also in the this direction and also like a mat so this is very high strength of a kind of the glass grid material this kind of the material may be the open and very high strength filament and this also can be used for the reflection cracking next material is the geonet and 
this zeonate you can see here that this is the zeonate in rhombus in shape it is not the same as I show you in case of the geogrid material like a biaxial geogrid material is shape and size is something different. But in case of the zeonate you can see this opening size is rhombus in shape and this also have a triaxial type of geonet this is triangle this very high flow so this is a kind of geonet material you can see okay if it is a two two dimensional of geogrid if you need more flow you can use maybe tri so this kind of the 3d kind of the geonet material it will give very good drainage and filtration capacity and this also can be used as a drainage and the filtration and particularly it has been used in the landfill system. Now so far what we talk about that is all permeable material whether it is a open geotextile material, non open geotextile material or it is a geogrid or it is a geonet they all are permeable material. Now I will focus on the impermeable material and what is called the geomembrane. Now geomembrane is like a rubber. So geomembrane are made of relatively impermeable thin continuous flexible plastic sheet or rubber material. It has a smooth or rough surface either one or both side. You can see that some of the geomembrane, you can see this geomembrane, this geomembrane surface is smooth in both the side, it is smooth, both the side it is smooth, you can see it is smooth. Or in some cases the geomembrane is one side is the smooth, but other side you can see rough. So, what you require friction, development of friction in a slope, so you can use the geomembrane to resist. So, this geomembrane is exclusively used for the landfill, also it can be used for the dam, reservoir, canal, etc. So, this geomembrane are two types one is calendaric geomembrane which are polyvinyl chloride which you call the PVC, polyethylene or which you call PE and ethylene interpolymer alloy which you call EIA. And extruded geomembrane are high density polyethylene which is represented at HDPE low density polyethylene that is LDPE, very flexible polyethylene that is VAPE and polypropylene which is PP. So, you can see some here also that defined types of the geomembrane material and also you can see this is one side is the very rough. So, this is defined types of the geomembrane. Now, next is geocomposite material, geocomposite material and geocomposite means this is all combination of geotextile, the open non open or the non open geonet material or geomembrane open material, any combination of called also the geocomposite material. Also the P fabricated vertical drain that means PVD is also called the geomembrane. Even then you can see some natural material which is made of the non-oven jute material and coir 
it is also made of the oven jute material and the coil. Also the other kind of the material which you call the polymer material, this is outside is the span bonded geotextile material and inside is the core. So, there are material like this, this is a made of non-oven jute material and this is coil which is made from coconut fiber. So, coconut fiber filament wrap with the non-oven geotextile material and this we call the natural prefabricated vertical bandrain and this natural prefabricated vertical bandrain can be used for the ground improvement and also for the drainage purpose. And there are also that oven, you can see that oven jute material and this is the coir fiber. So, this coir is wrapped with the oven geotextile material, this also we call the prefabricated vertical bandrain. And apart from that, there are material which we also call the PVD and that PVD also it is a made of polyester. This polyester has the outside core material and also inside core material. You can see that this is the PVD inside the core material and that is wrapped with the non-oven, span bonded non-oven geotextile material. And this is the, this you call the jacket and this you call the core and this also exclusively is for the ground improvement. Apart from that, there are different types of this material, you can see this material, this is non-oven, this is plastic core, also it can be called the geocomposite material. So, there are many, many types of geocomposite material, you can see this is the geonet and this is laminated with the non-oven geotextile material, this also it called the geocomposite material. So, any combination, you can see this is the geogrid and this is laminated with the non-oven geotextile material, this also called the geocomposite material. So, there are various geocomposite material. Also geocomposite material also is for the erosion control as a mat. So, we use this natural material like the oven jute material or the oven coil material for the erosion control and that is many many years have been used for the erosion control. Now, it is also different types of the erosion control product, you can see it is a mesh, you can put it into the slope and then the grass can grow, you can see there is a, there is a opening size of this material, so you can use also as a erosion control mat. You can see the different types of the mat, different types of the mat. You can see this another type of the mat, then you can see that grass can grow also and it looks very greenery. So, you can use for, for erosion control system. You can see something like this geometry is something like this. So, you can have different shape and size of this material, you can see this is the coil material also is act as a erosion control. So, this material exclusively used for the erosion control. Now, there is a geo spacer or the geo strip material and it is also plastic, it is a core, it may be laminated with the geotextile material and geo spacer and geo strip also use for the road side also you can use it and for any stabilization of the soil you can see like this, this geo strip and geo strip also can be used for stabilization for any 
foundation soil or you can use in the road as a drainage you do not need to excavate and fill up with the good quality of aggregate or whether you have to use a open or non open geotextile material you can simply that you can dig it you can see very less of the width of this material and this is laminated with the span bonded non open geotextile material you can place along the both side of the road and this will act as a very good drainage. So, this we call the geospacer or the geostrip. Now, there is geocentric clay liner, this is alternative to the geomembrane material and this material is made of bentonite laminated with the oven material or non-oven geotextile material, both the side non-oven or both the side oven or one side is the non oven other side is the oven or one side is the geomembrane other side is the geotextile material. So, any combination of this which you call the geosynthesis clay liner when this bentonite come in contact with the water and it will act as a impermeable material. And showing you some of the sample you can see that bentonite and this, this top is the non oven geotextile material, this is needle punches non oven geotextile material. You can have also this, this also geocentric clay liner, you can see that non oven needle punches geotextile material on the one side and other side is the geomembrane. So, you can have a lot of combination of the geocentric clay liner as the bentonite is abundantly available in India. So, we can also manufacture this kind of geosynthesis clay liner which may be the much more cheaper than the geomembrane material. So, it act as a barrier it can be used for any landfill construction and other barrier system. Now, here slide show the geotextile tube. So, it is nothing but a, but a like a guni bag and fill up with the drainage material and then you can seal it and it can be placed near to the seashore and to control the erosion. So, this is kind of the geotextile tube we will also teach you about the geotextile tube in some of the chapter and there I will explain more about this geotextile tube which is very popular and it can be used in very difficult uh, project or problems. And this is what you call the geo pipe, it is already known to you, it is a flexible pipe. So, this is in, in general that it is, it, is, it is known to you. So, it is also used as a drainage and filtration something like this. So, water can pass through this kind of the pipe. So, this is very very standard it is also known to you. Now, this is the geofoam material that is geofoam block or slab are made of expanded polystyrene or extruded polyester. It is a very lightweight material with high white content and its density is very low compared to the soil. So, this geofoam in terms of the textile we say the expanded polystyrene material and generally we use geofoam what is called the thermocol, we use plenty for the packaging packaging for the any TV, radio or lot of electronic goods and it is a super light material. So, you can have this in the form of beads and also you can have from the solid, you can see some of the in the form of the beads also you can have some form of the dust. So, these beads at a particular temperature and pressure, so you can produce this kind of the geofoam material. So, you can have this kind of the block. So, this block is 
have a different density. So, it may be the from 10 to 30, 40, 50. So, this density can have a different density of this material and this is very you can see very super light material. So, you can place directly on the soft soil and you can construct this a magnet using this new super light material what we call geofoam. This geofoam also can have it in the form of drainage. You can see these bits and there is an opening. So, it can act also as a drainage. You can place on the back of the retaining wall which will act as a drainage material. It is a lighter, it also give the drainage material. Sometimes you can make the combination of this geofoam material and this geofoam material which will act as a drainage, this geofoam material which will act as a separation. So, we can make use of the geofoam in different applications. Next, I will talk about the geo cell. It is the geo cell, it is a hexagonal or in honeycomb structure. It is made of polyester, it is made of also the natural material. You can see this is a natural material, geo cell or geo wave, or it is made of the plastic you can see that bottle which you can cut and can make a cellular reinforcement. I am just showing that one this geo cell is like this, it can, it can collapse, it can transport and it can be expanded and it can anchor and fill up with the aggregate or sand and can compact it. So, this kind of the geo wave or the geo cell can be used for the roadbed stabilization and also for the erosion control. Now, this is geotextile container, nothing like a geotextile bag. This material is filled up with the drainage material and it can be also used for the erosion control and seed product. Apart from the polymer material, there is a natural geotextile material which is made of the jute and also as well as coir. This is the you can see jute plant. From this jute plant, we produce this natural jute material. You can see like this kind of the jute material we can produce. Also from the coir, this is the coir coconut plant and from which we can also produce this coconut fiber and coconut mat and this also exclusively used for the erosion control. This is a gabion, this is a hexagonal, this is a galvanized mild steel, it is in the form of mesh. You can have a Q 1 meter by 1 meter Q and top portion is open and filled up with the good quality aggregate and compacted and you can construct this reinforced wall as a gabion. You can use different types of the fiber element. I have shown you earlier also what is the different types of the fiber. This is one type of the fiber. You can see you can expand it, you can have, have a cellular kind of the reinforcement. Then soil can insert it into this opening space of this material and there will be good bonding, there will be interaction, good interaction between the different types of the fiber element with the soil. It may be the nylon, it may be the coir, it may be the jute or any kind of this material which it can be used for to stabilize the soil. Now, the electrokinetic geosynthesis material, these are basically quick drainage material. These are electrically conducted geosynthesis material, it perform soil consolidation by the electroosmosis process. There is a geo blanket, it is made of synthetic or natural biodegradable permeable material. It is used for temporary erosion control with vegetation. There is a geo mat. It is a three dimensional permeable material. It is made of 
bonded filament it can be used for permanent erosion control problem. The roots of grass and the small plant act as an reinforcement for vegetation. With this I ended up today's program. Please let us hear from you any question. Thank you for listening.